Invasion Vengeance was released on November 4th, 2016. This set radically shifted the competitive landscape, introducing both powerful archetype-specific cards as well as standalone generic cards that would become ubiquitous across multiple strategies. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh!'s past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome! to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. I don't know how I ended up as the Metal Foes guy on this series, but here I am with my fourth foray into the world of Normal Pendulum. Behold, Metal Foes Yang Zing. This is going to be our last episode exploring the Invasion Vengeance format, and that's because the format's about to radically shift. Momentarily, a structure deck will be released that includes a card called DDD Lamia, propelling DDD to best deck status for an entire weekend. After that, the release of a new set will see some of the most powerful cards Yu-Gi-Oh! has ever conceived, the Zodiacs. But before then, it's time to show off a really powerful combo deck. Now, while Metal Foes Yangxing wasn't super popular at the YCS level, the editor of this series demanded that we take a look at it, and it's not hard to see why. This exceptionally flexible combo deck is, if nothing else, extremely interesting. It's got lines you couldn't even conceive of, lines I'm sure that I'm going to miss once we get into the games. The basic concept is this. The Metal Foes pop cards on your side of the field, and while the Yangxings usually had to wait for an opponent to run into them in order to trigger, you can manually trigger them by popping them with a Metal Foe. These cards are when you can effect, so you'd expect them to miss timing, but the Metal Foes have a very specific conjunction on their effect. The and if you do means that the pop and the set happen simultaneously. There's nothing that would cause these to miss timing. We're loaded up on as many Yang Zings as we can be because we are attempting to summon any of them, then float into exactly this card, Jiao Tu Darkness of the Yang Zing. When this card is special summoned, you can send two Yang Zing monsters from your hand to the graveyard to special summon two Yang Zings from your deck, one with zero attack and one with zero defense. Notably, Zephyr Nui, Secret of the Yang Zing, is a six star monster with zero attack. Attack. That six star monster plus a two star tuner makes Baxia and puts this Zephyr Nui face up in your extra deck, ripe for a pendulum summon later in the turn. We're on a very low count of metal foes, but that's because you only need to see one of them. After you activate the effect, you can set a copy of combination, pop that with Baxia, and get the scale you're missing to perform a pendulum summon later in the turn. Use Zephyr Nui in order to get nine pillars of the Yang Zing and end on a ton of negations. Notably, this deck also makes use of a card that is banned to this day, Dang long first of the Yang Zing. This is one of the most shocking pieces of legacy support ever given to an archetype. If this card is special summoned, you can add a Yang Zing card period from your deck to your hand. What's more, if this card leaves the field, you can special summon a Yangzing monster from your deck, and that summon does not miss timing. They, <laughs> at this point, figured that they probably could throw an if on one of these cards somewhere. The end result is a deck that, if it goes first and is uninterrupted, can put up an insane number of negates, usually two copies of Nine Pillars of Yangzing, a rank eight made off two Baxias, usually Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy, and, depending on what you've opened, additional negation as well. Occasionally, something like a Herald of the Arclight, um, a Chaofang, or even a Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Elder Entity Norden comes home to roost in order to reborn tuners, or just fours, uh, in order to just make Synchro laddering a little easier. You might be looking at a deck with this much raw concentrated power and wondering why it wasn't ever Tier 1. Well, unfortunately, the answer is very simple. This deck has a very telegraphed choke point. If you find a Metal Foes card and pop a copy of a Yang Zing monster, if your opponent is able to prevent you from doing so or cause the Yang Zing monster to miss timing, usually that's the end of your turn. Unless you found two different Metal Foes, something that's very difficult to do when you're only playing seven total, you are probably not going to be able to perform a Pendulum Summon, meaning both the continued existence of the one Metal Foe you've drawn and the Yang Zing is paramount if you actually want to accomplish anything. Because of this, the deck ends up losing going second to both Spell Trap Removal and Monster Negation, and that's really not a great place to be in this format. 
What's more, it's a combo deck that competes for space with other Metal Foes variants. Imagine playing a deck like this that's on so many Yang Zings that can just brick up your hand if you're not able to make your way to a Jiao Tu, when you could just be playing Magispector Metal Foes and accomplishing 80% of the same board with not only survivability, but the ability to play through individual points of interaction. As a result, this was a famously powerful YouTube combo deck, but in tournaments has a couple of YCS tops and not a lot else. Let's go through the card by card. We're on to Beyond, two Bixie, triple Chi Wen, triple Jiao Tu, one copy of Speedroid Red-Eyed Dice. That's usually your search off of Speedroid Terror Top in hands that don't have uh, the material necessary to normal summon a Yang Zing, then go into Jiao Tu and pitch two more. We've got Taka Tomborg in here as well. Uh, we are playing three Suwani, one Tau <laughs> This is a very strange monster that doesn't show up often, but that stat line, you can't argue with it. Two copies of Zephyr Nui and one copy of Zephraxi. These cards are unbelievably powerful. Zephyr Nui is the stronger of the two, and look at that face. When he's Pendulum Summoned or destroyed by Battle or Card Effect while in your Monster Zone, you can add a Yang Zing or Zephyr Spell Trap from your deck to your hand. We're playing seven Metal Foes, two Gold Driver, two Silver, two Steelin, and only one copy of Volflame. And then for spells, we've got Double Instant Fusion, Metal Foes, Fusion, Oracle of Zephyr, Painful Decision, Double Pot of Desires, Soul Charge, Upstart Goblin, two Path, one Combo, and two Nine Pillars. You might be shocked to see Metal Foes Fusion with no Metal Foes Fusions in the extra. We'll be popping it with Baxia. In the side, we've got two Effect Veiler, two Flying Sea, two Gamsiel, two Ghost Ogre, two Maxi, two Book of Eclipse, and triple Twin Twister. The extra is insanely tight. Elder Entity Norden, triple Baxia, one Xiaofang, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, two Danglong, one Herald, one Ignister Prominence, one Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon, a copy of Ultimaya Zulkin, a Yazi Evil of the Yang Zing, number 38, and the Phantom Knights of Break Sword. So with that, thanks for the recommendation, Editor, and here's Alex. All right, we beat Vanity's Fiend Turbo, and now we are going to get Turbo Railed. Uh, I don't have faith in this deck. There are some people who will die on the hill that Yosenju is a good deck. I am not a believer, and I typically like slower decks that are like not super complicated. I think this is too slow for me, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, like, I get it. There's some cool stuff you can do here, but these decks have always had like the same issue that they had like back in like the Fire Fist days where just being able to like have a couple dudes and back row is just not good enough when your guys aren't that threatening and not to mention you kind of lose tempo every turn because you're just bouncing everything back to your hand. Now to be fair, like obviously you can just keep summoning them back out, but that makes them vulnerable to like a myriad of different things. I don't know. I This deck has had like its small stints of like time in the spotlight, but uh, we'll see. This is going to be a rough one. So let's go ahead and do the card by card. Uh, we got double Maxi because this is like maybe the only good card we're playing in here. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll stop. I, I'll, I'll actually be fair. Well, we'll see. Maybe we end up actually doing okay. Uh, triple comma one, comma two, and comma three because uh, these are like the only... Actually, I'm sorry. We're only playing double comma three and double Sujik. These are like the good Yosenju cards out of all of them. So if you've never seen Yosenju before, it's an archetype uh, that relies on normal summoning that when it's normal summon, immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon another Yosenju from your hand except another card copy of the same number. So you can go one into two into three if you want to. Uh, Sujik can also be one of the ones you summon, but Sujik doesn't have one to summon another. So you typically, if you do summon him, want it to be at the end of a chain. And then each of the commas has their own respective effects. So comma, if you control uh, another Yosenju monster, you can target a face-up card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. Comma two actually allows you to attack directly, but the damage it inflicts is halved. And then comma three, uh, when another Yosenju monster you control inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can add a Yosenju card from your deck to your hand. Again, the problem is that another one has to be doing damage. So they work best in pairs, obviously, or in triplicates at that point. And Sujik is neat. It's kind of like an honest, uh, a mini honest, because uh, it makes it so that the monster only gains a thousand attack. And then it, when it's on the field, can make another send you gain a thousand attack until the end of the turn. So like, it allows you to get a little bit more damage in and have some protection for these as well to make sure they can hit over things. But that's it for the monsters, because we're playing a Demise deck and we want to have as few monsters as possible. So we've got Demise uh, Tanky, because these are all Beast Warriors. We're on main deck Necro Valley, because this is a time where there's a lot of graveyard reliant decks and Necro Valley can hose a lot of things. So this is more so just like an anti-meta rogue type strategy that you would take to, uh, that you would attempt to take to competitive events and uh, hope that you just get paired with everything that has the graveyard and you stick Necro Valley and win the game. Triple duality because we don't care about special summoning in the slightest in this deck. One Raigeki and double twin. And then for the traps, we have double chaos trap hole. A lot of the best cards around this time are light or dark. And so being able to just have more copies of Solemn is pretty good. Triple, uh, excuse me, double, oh no, it is triple. There's the one right there. Drowning uh, Mirror Force. 
Drowning Mirror Force is an insane way to be able to just punish your opponent if they're not playing around back row. Double lose one turn because our deck doesn't care about this because we're only normal summoning. Macrocosmos again, anti meta. Triple Strike, a warning, Torrential, and Vanity's Emptiness. The extra deck could come up, but there's not like a ton we really want to go into. We got Dweller, Tiger King because we're going Beast Warriors. Uh, we have Castell, Diamond Dyer, Double Cowboy, uh, Harpy's Pet, Phantasmal Dragon because I guess these are wins. And speaking of which, we can play Chidori, which is nice. 101 Utopia, a Heartland Draco, Utopia Prime, and Lightning is kind of cool. And then the side deck, we've got some Kaijus in here. This is sort of like Luna Kaiju control before like people like actually started playing Luna, I guess. Uh, triple Slumber to go with that. We got Triple System down for ABC, obviously. A Twin Twister to round it out to three. And Triple Shadow Imprisoning Mirror for all the Dark Focus decks. So uh, I'm not super optimistic with this one, I'll be honest. But uh, maybe I'll be impressed. And maybe I'll have a uh, new perspective on this deck by the end of it. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to do it. Damn, Joseph, we're just, we're doing everything we can so you don't have to play Zodiac. Is that, is that what it's come to? Oh, <laughs> is, what, is that what are you sort of... talking about? You're, oh, Joseph, we're just trying our hardest to prevent you from losing to me. Uh, you made me play <laughs> Dark Lord last time. No, you picked that. Don't even put that on me. That <laughs> was fair. your choice. Can you imagine I picked that and I hadn't read the cards? What a smart <laughs> genius I am. Imagine. Uh, imagine. That's never happened. Uh, these are decks that are probably jank worthy in all honesty. But uh, interestingly enough, uh, both this episode and the next episode, some of these decks had like numerous tops around this time. And like, we haven't really talked about them at all. And I know you we talked about are, deck building, but- I can't believe you would say something like that. This deck is the best deck in this format. <laughs> How much is Gareth paying you to say that is the main question. <laughs> Gareth, just, uh, you know, uh, my PayPal's in the description. Just uh, let me know. Uh <laughs> shout, shout out the Patreon. You know what? We'll shout out Gareth this Gareth, episode. Gareth, thanks so much. Uh, Gareth is the editor for all of history of Yu-Gi-Oh! and history of Jank. He does a phenomenal job and I do not give him enough credit. Uh, so everyone say thank you, Gareth, for being a god and uh, getting us these videos literally the day before they're due most of the time. I was going to say, right, Joseph, usually that's my up? fault. I give him files two seconds before they need to be up. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, sure. I got a hand up. All right. I rolled a four. Uh, conveniently, the number of stars on the monsters that I'm playing in my deck. It's a five for dang long. I'll, I'll take Fuck. it, baby. I think I'm screwed now. All right. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> Let's see um, what you got, buddy. This is a bit of a combo deck, and it's been a while since I played it, so you're all going to have to bear with me. Oh, no, wait. Actually, this combo is pretty easy to resolve. All right. We're just going to hope for it. You know, the thing about the combos in this deck is sometimes they're a little freewheeling. Sometimes, you know, you don't know where they're going to go, and we're just going to find out where they go together <laughs> here, buddy. I'm going to normal summon Bixie Water of the Yangzing. Sure. All right. That is totally fine. Metal Foes Stealing Target Bixie. So this will miss timing, right? No. So, so I know what you're thinking. Uh, when you can, that means that because I'm performing two actions, it's not going to work. Well, the metal foes say you can target a face-up card you control, destroy it, and if you do set a spell trap, which means those actions occur simultaneously. This is a game for 11-year-olds. Uh, we are going to set Metal Foes combination, pop Bixie, and trigger it. That's fine. Oh, thank God. Because uh, let me tell you right now, if you had a Maxi, this game would be over for a number of reasons. You think I'm playing Maxi? That's a good joke. All right, I mean, uh, let's grab Jiao Tu. Okay. I don't think we've really seen much of this guy. We have not. This is the, like, high-risk, high-reward guy. Here, I'm going to send two Yangzing cards from my hand to the graveyard. Summon a Yangzing monster with zero attack and a Yangzing monster with zero defense. Is that okay? That's perfectly fine. I wish I had effect failure because then you just would end your turn. That is correct. Uh, we are going to summon Suwani, Fire of the Yangzing, featured on my cards, and um, Zephyr Nui. Secret of the Yang Zing. Okay. Nice. This this guy becomes a menace later. Oh, he's disastrous. Um yeah. right now he's just chilling. You know, he's just a lad. So we are he gonna has the best face of any of the Yang Zing cards, anyway. Uh you know what else he has is six stars. So him to the graveyard, G Tao to the graveyard for a guy you might recognize from Sword Soul, Baxia, Brightness of the Yang Zing. Okay, so with Baxia, we are gonna go Baxia send combo, summon bag, G Tao. Sure. Then we're gonna trigger combo. Uh We'll get a one scale. Let's grab um, Gold Driver. Uh, Gold Driver. Uh, let's target Suwani. We will grab another copy of... Oh, we ain't grabbing shit. That's the only combo. <laughs> All right, we'll grab a uh, Fusion. <laughs> sure. Uh, Suwani effect. BN here. Um... I don't know, actually. Let's actually get the second copy of Zephyr Nui. Go G Tau Zephyr Nui for a second Baxia. Go Baxia Pop the Fusion. Oh, that uh, that this guy's in the extra deck. 
Yep. Uh, and then let's get G Tau again. We're gonna go uh, fusion to the top of the deck. We'll draw a card. Wow. Oh, wow, that is a, wow, that's really a card. Okay, give me a sec. We normaled, right? Uh, we normaled Bixie. You normaled yeah. Bixie. Okay, this is really risky, but I'm actually gonna Desires here. Wow, okay, sure. This pays off for you. Oh, it, it, um, oh, uh, uh, it paid off. It paid off. Okay. Whew. Whew. That was a, am I playing three copies of Chi Wen moment right there? I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right. Let's go Baxia and Baxia here for Hope Harb. That's scary. You familiar okay. with this card? I am. It's really a question of how far I want to go go from this position. You are playing the combo deck. You haven't even pendulum summoned. No, I That's... haven't. I mean, it's it's going to get a lot worse. This deck is actually who I'm really actually shockingly constra constrained by what's in the extra. Uh, okay. We are going to go we're going to go pendulum summon. Okay. We're going to summon Terror Top, Zephyr Nui, and this third one is really a thinker. The thing complicating it from this position is actually the zones. Yeah, just these, just these two. Uh, Zephyr Nui one, Tear Top two. Grab nine pillars. Scary. Uh, then let's go Jiao to Tear Top. You forget your Tear Top search, sir. Oh yeah, I totally did. Red eyed dice. Okay. Uh, we'll go Ding Dong here. Sure. Uh, we're gonna Love go. Love that this is generic. We're gonna go grab the other nine pillars. Great. Jesus. And um God, I actually don't even know if that's true. Um yeah, it is. Instant fusion. Oh my god, he's still going. Yeah, yep. no, this is not we're not remotely close to over. Uh Norden. Oh my god, yeah, this card's still legal. Sure. Uh target Cheetow. Yeah. <laughs> let's go uh ding dong effect. We are going to yeah. Let's go Zephyr Nui and G Tau for Axia. So not using the Deng Long effect. Uh no. Um, we'll go Baxia target Gold Driver and G Tau. Okay. Do we want Gold Driver? No. Here, here's what we're gonna do. Deng Long effect. No, this is sure. bad too. The deck just does too much. It legitimately does too much. Four, five, six, seven. Dang long. Send Chi Wen. Make him a one. Uh, Baxia. Destroy Gold Driver to set Chi Tao again. Uh, sure. To set Chi Wen, sorry. Uh, the eight star Baxia and the one star Dang long for Xiao Fang. Dang. There Dang, he is. Dang long effect. Just keeps going. Yeah, instead of Chi Win, we are going to get the G Tau. I'm being bad. That's fine. No, I can't do that. That's okay. I remember why I didn't do this. Okay. It was because they don't have a six in here to ladder through. Okay. We'll grab Beyond. Okay. And then we'll go Beyond Chi Win for Harold. Jesus Christ. All right. We're going to set one, two. This is kind of weird because, like,. I don't have anything to do with the Norden. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Uh, Silvered here. Mm -hmm. We'll pop Norden. Oh, I see. And we'll set Fusion. Sure. Uh, uh, I'll pass turn here. Okay. Uh, may I quickly read nine pillars, sir? I know you have at least one in the yeah, back here you row. Go. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, you have to destroy a Yang Zing. That's the only thing I care about. Uh, we're probably screwed. Uh, I guess we'll have to give it our best shot here. So let's go Yosenju, comma, one. That's cool. I will activate the effect. Yeah, I'll nine pillars here. So this will get shuffled back into the deck and you destroy a Yang Zing card you control. Yeah, we'll go Chao Fang. Uh, okay. Uh, new chain, let's go Chao Fang, one, Chi Wen, two. Yep. Uh, Chao Feng adds a tuner, right? Grab this guy. Okay, uh, that was fun. I'll just set three and pass. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, uh, I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. Shit, I don't know. Uh, Yang Zing path. Oh, excellent. Yeah, sure. Uh, I need one of these backs. He is back. <laughs> I was gonna um, say, you've gone through all three of them. Oh, does this prevent me from drawing two cards if I target an extra deck monster? I want to say no, right? It says all three. It says into the deck, though, not the main deck. 
How is avarice worded? Uh, the deck, and it does work for extra deck guys. So okay. okay. I was there's no. I know Yang <laughs> Zing cards have all this mistiming bullshit. I refuse to believe that their spell that is their mini pot of avarice would uh would also be that bad. All right. Uh, oh, this is a cool card. Oracle of Zephra. Oh, yeah, great. We get to see this card, too. I have a target remaining. Let's go ahead and grab Excellent. this guy. It's a Fraxy treasure of the Yang Zing. Uh, I always thought Zephraxy looked cool. Yeah, you know, he's he's neat. He's chilling. Well, shit, I don't know how much I want to commit here. Uh, let's let's PS2. Uh, we'll go G Tao Zephra Nui. Ugh. Uh, uh, anything here? Yeah, I guess this is fine. No, you're good. Uh, let's go these two. Oh, I guess I yeah, let me let me trigger G Tao. I think I yeah, I still have a path in here. <laughs> uh, of course you do. Of course let, you do. Let's go Baxia. Uh, I got two different attributes here. I'm gonna target these two, and then I'm gonna go to chain link to Oracle. Try for which doesn't even matter. Yep, because you have the Oracle. I'm I'm just dead. Oh. We can go to games. <laughs> Fun and interactive. That was uh, that was incredible. I literally I say, don't I see what really the problem impressed. is. I don't have. I don't see what the problem is. This hand is crazy. Unfortunately, I am going what's called second here. Uh, we'll see. We'll try to do our best. Uh, we got Tanky to start, which yeah, is terrible. That is nice. That is nice. These are all Beast Warriors, which happens to be quite good. Uh, thinking if there's any one in particular I want to add here. I think we just go for our typical good guy, Mister One, uh, and then we'll go ahead and duality. Yeah. The deck does not care about special summoning. Ooh. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Please, come on, man. Let's talk about this. Uh, so the problem is both of these cards are bad when you know about them. I mean, uh, yeah, that's true. I think I'm going to take warning. Yeah. And then we're just going to go uh, set one, two, three. Over yeah. to you. God, I don't ask you for much. It's just give me Twin Twister here. I don't know, man. Uh, normal Suwani. Sure. I didn't think we'd get this far. Okay. Um. Let's set Metal Foes Steelen. Uh. Yeah. I guess. Activate the effect targeting Suwani. Sure. All right. Let's um grab Metal Foes combo. Sure. Suwani effect. Uh. It's special. Yeah. That's fine. Can't get G Tau here because you <laughs> kill me into the sun. <laughs> but what if I get G Tau anyway? Man, I don't know. I I get Chi Wen. Instant fusion? Uh, what? Go for, like, fucking Norden here? Get back your Suwani? Kind of annoying? Yeah, yeah sure. Go for it. Yes, that's the play. Uh, <laughs> Norden attempt to target Suwani here. Sure. Yay! All right, how we feeling? Good? Bad? Good. All right, I mean, ding dong, he's here. And ding dong, he's gone. Chaos yeah, trap hole. A chaos trap hole? <laughs> Holy fuck, Lois. What am I supposed to do about Chaos Trap Hole? You want me to blow your mind? He still triggers. If he leaves the field. He's oh, he's not face up, up technically. I don't think he hit the field. Yeah, let me check that out. I don't think he's ever technically face up because he never touches the field. I was going to say. Summon. Yeah, I am pretty sure this guy does not trigger here. When a Yangzing monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect. Thank you, Chi Wen. Very cool. Uh, Banished, sir. Yeah. Uh, shockingly, we're not out of them. Uh, let us go painful decision. Oh, sure. I will send Silvered to the graveyard. Get a copy of Silvered. Sizzle in Silvered. Can't stop tracker, can't see her, can't escape that light speed laser. Let's go Silvered target Norden. We'll twin. Suck my fucking dick and <laughs> balls, dude. Holy shit. Do you want to Do you want to target combo? I'm good. I, I, I'm good. Are you sure? <laughs> All right. Well, sure. I, I have scales, you know, anyway. Uh, okay. I, I will, I will PS1. Is that cool with you? Okay. Uh, I, I guess. Yeah. You know what? Actually, fuck you. I'm going to PS2. <laughs> Okay. Well, you know what my last card I is. Do. So I do. I I am yeah. aware. You cool? Is this so, all right? So, what can you do at this point? If I just warning this, then you can still get value off of your metal foes because you can just still pop Norden to get a set, but then you have literally nothing but scales. That's correct. All right, we'll do it. Fuck. All right, whatever. Uh, so, he's good to grave. Uh, like you said, we'll go. Coal driver, pop Norden. Get get in the graveyard. Is get in the graveyard? You're not instant fusioning twice. God, I really want to. Uh, okay, let's set fusion here. It's the next card. That's okay. 
Excellent. Oh, Excellent. man. I can't believe you twin twisted and didn't hit combo. That was so unlucky. All right, you know, back to you. <laughs> the problem is now you're set up pretty well for uh, for next turn here. We'll have to see I what you do about that. got to get to next turn. Uh, we'll go. Uh, I'm playing you send you. You're getting to next turn. Okay? I knew you had combo right. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew I had oh, combo one. Oh, what'd you draw? You drew, you drew three. Two, oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> 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 Yeah. All right, uh, we'll go battle. This yeah. is 17, 19. Yes. Oh, no, wait. Okay. You're attacking me directly, so the battle damage inflicted is halved. Yeah, uh, only when using the effect. Hey, oh, I'm no. pretty sure that's how it works. Well, what do we do now? I don't know. Make honor arc. Mm. Make lightning key dory. Send my metal uh, Honestly, combo to I'm kind of thinking about it. <laughs> so the problem is, like, Chidori is cool, but, like, it doesn't like it does fully not do a solve all my thing. problems. <laughs> it does not, no. Here's the problem, Alex. Uh, You've got lethal next turn. I do. You can yeah. bounce the monster I will get off of the search and attack directly for lethal. But if I draw a monster with 1600 attack, I can pendulum summon it, kill you immediately. Yep. <laughs> so I guess the <laughs> question is, is, do you feel lucky? <laughs> Sir, currently, the hits in my deck are every single Yang Zing monster and every single metal foe. <laughs> that makes me feel better. Thank Sorry. you. <laughs> So I can do what here? I can go Castell, spin one of the scales, but then like you still can just go like Metal Foe pop combination and you're sort of off to the races anyway, but it like sort of stems the bleeding. Uh, if I don't do anything, then things are just going to get like infinitely worse for me. Yeah. Tiger King gets me a thing, but like, I don't know. <laughs> pretty bleak. Not going to lie. It's pretty bleak. I think I I think I'm just I go for like Castell. I gotta do something. Sure. Uh let's just get rid of the do I even do this? It sounds so bad. Cause if I go Castell, then you just what? Go flip combination, goal driver or goal flame pop combo, get Volflame, flame, attack over Castell. So that literally like gets me nowhere. Then I'm top decking. If you spin Volflame, flame, I can't do Volflame, flame, right? Right. But my point being is if whatever you pop with combination, don't you special off of it? No, combo adds. Oh, combo adds. Oh, okay. So that's not as bad. Yeah. None of the four star guys can test Castell. It would have to be like find the scale. All right. We'll try it. All right. Get rid of Bull Flame. See ya. Hope it's enough. Okay, come on. Come on, something. <sighs> Son of a bitch. It's like literally the worst draw remaining in the deck. Maybe I should have just, like you said, maybe I should have just left the commas, come back to my hand, and then just, <laughs> and then just hope you whiff. But I just Combo. think it's not, it's, it's not good enough. Yeah, you're good. What the hell am I talking about? I don't have another Metal Foes spell trap in my deck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Go. <laughs> I wish I would have known that before. All right. <laughs> it's red-eyed dice. Excellent. It's a whiff Perfect. anyway. Uh, oh, come on. Shit. Go. Got more fucking trap cards. Oh, okay. Give me... Oh, thank fucking... It's not that good, but it's a monster. It puts a clock on you. Okay. What's the biggest defense? Is this a Big She have like 2K defense Bixie or something? Big She has 2K, it's, yeah. I think... I'll, I don't know if you're on Pulau. I think Pulau has 18. I am playing that shit. <laughs> that, that card's not in the deck. <laughs> also, Silver or Steelin's 21. So if you drew him, like I literally can't even out him. Steelin's 21. Bixie's 2K. Jitao is 2K. This matters for my clock. If I hit with Kama and then Castell, I can get you on a two turn clock but if i go castell first then comma uh it's a it's still technically a two-turn clock if i change my attack order I'll, I'll 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 not do the we'll we'll be conservative we'll, we'll just attack all right well it doesn't matter it's it's Gito. oh so yeah, yeah G, jow 2 also has 2k defense perfect He's a big uh ass. end phase coming back go okay. ahead i mean what are the chances that that card is anything it's gotta be nothing right um uh, fucking, we can switch G Tao to attack position and attack and trigger Chi Wen G Tao. Uh, does that do anything? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. Wah. Yep. Attack. Ration. Yeah, you're good. All right, I'll take two. Yep. Uh, G Tao Chi Wen. Go for it. Oh my god. Didn't think we'd get that far. Um, let's grab Suwani. Sure. I mean, two. I mean, if it's just, if it's solemn, it's solemn. I don't think there's really anything I can do about it. Is there? We can. Well, this guy, four, five. Ah. No, there's not. See ya. Uh, ding dong. How is this card not limited? 
Yep. Oh, okay. I well, all right. Color me impressed. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, go ahead and grab. Oh God, I don't know. Uh, nine pillars. She seems okay. Uh, he's a high scale. Yeah. Let's let's grab nine pillars. Sure. We'll just normal talk a Tomborg and attempt to go for Baxia here. Go for it. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I will target one worm this guy and i'll go ding dong too uh sure get shuffled what the hell was that I'm just, wait hold on what on earth was that i'll let you know later i bet you will all right let's uh let's grab does zephyr nui do anything here it does because i have g tau in the grave I'll grab zephyr nui sure uh baxi effect targeting combo combo go for it another vol flame i'm just kidding we're gonna get stealing i want that vol flame sure. later uh, whoop, whoop. another Baxia, folks. How does he do it? Uh, Baxia target cast out. He's out of here. Uh, Baxia target the other set and G Tau. Go for it. Uh, set stealing. P S one. Zephyr Nui. Um, none of these guys really matter at all. Let's make. We could make the third Baxia. Uh, we've used G Tau already. Let's go combo. Or fusion, rather. Whoop. <laughs> Decent draw. Of course. Of course. Decent draw. Whoop. Whoop. Two, two pretty good ones. I think that's actually the only way I lose the game is if I play that card. We normaled Takatomborg this turn. Takatomborg. Yeah. Yep. I think I'm a little scared of your kaijus. So we'll just set two and we will end the turn. I think you can rest assured that you're probably fine. Tanky. Yeah, I'll nine pillars that. Okay. I'm just, I'm dead. I, <laughs> yeah, I should have listened to you. I should have listened to you. Keep the keep the commas. This was the set. I should have kept the I should have oh, kept the man. commas. Oh, I shit. couldn't use it because I made Castell. Should have listened. Oh no, special summon monsters. <laughs> yep. Oh can't my use God. it. Oh, my God, that was the play. That oh, was the play. Oh my God. Do you want to do game three? Yeah, we'll do game three. All right, I'll this try. might be another forty-five minutes. That went well. Yeah. I, 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 I played for about a total of two minutes that episode. It, went, it, it was splendid. Great time. Uh, your deck's crazy. That's all I got to say. That or my deck's terrible. Oh, my God. Probably, probably well, both. sometimes my deck produces hands like this one. Okay. Uh, Necro Valley set two pass. You win. Uh, okay. Uh, stand by main. Oh, stand by main. I, I drew tear top. Uh, yes, you did. Effect. Yes, you did. We will grab... Oh, Jesus Christ. So what I'm supposed to grab here is red-eyed dice, but I really do not want to do that. What's our other option? Okay. You, okay, we are going to we're gonna play a little safe. Uh, we're going to grab Takatombork. And we'll special it. Boring. Uh, break sword? Boring. Okay, so here's the unfortunate truth is I think that I actually don't give a fuck about Necro Valley. I need to... I'm going to try this one and that one. Uh, I'll chain it. It's strike. Uh, Might as well kill him. I, he's dying anyway. Fair. He's dying anyway, but so I might as well not lose the life points. Yeah. Desires. Sure. Come on. Come on. It's Daddy needs well a new pair before. of shoes. Not bad. Ooh, interesting banishes. Oh, okay. Three G Tau. Thank you. Uh Volflame. Normal. Bixie. Nice. Yep. Volflame effect. Go for it. Uh we did retain the combo here. Uh whoop. Get get down there. Uh, G Tau effect. All good. Oh wow! I was like, that's that's how I lose. Uh, or not. Um, anything here? Nope. Bada bing. Baxia. Baxia target Necro Valley in the back row. This is a good episode. This yeah, this really was good a good. Episode. I can just kill you from here. Uh, yeah. Baxia target the set card and this is in the extra and G Tau. Uh, combo. Uh, we'll grab Volflame. Uh, go gold driver. Shit, I mean, so what, six? Just different names. Oh my god, it's not. Uh, we will PS1. Uh, Nui. Sure. Yep. Uh, Baxia. <laughs> sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, gold driver <laughs> targets Suwani. Yep. Uh, we're gonna set, what's his name? Uh, Fusion. Uh, Chiwen, Suwani. Uh, Baxia, target the back row, and Suwani. Sure. 
Uh, these two. I think that was lethal, but uh, no, but <laughs> but it could be more lethal. Uh, I bet long. it could be. I bet it could be. Sure. <laughs> oh shit, we're out of targets. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> no, no, we got some targets. We got some targets. Uh, this is what uh four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Dang Long. Sure. Send. I don't fucking know. Dang Long Beyond. Yazi. Dang Long. <laughs> Crap Beyond. <laughs> this is this is lethal, right? This is like lethal fifteen ways from Sunday. Uh, if not, Yangzing Path. <laughs> we're just gonna fucking... What a good We done? Yeah, we're done. We done, done here? We're done, we're done. I've, <laughs> I've jerked myself off enough. I took, I took a little nap, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Holy shit. This... Whoever convinced us to play this... This deck's awful. Thanks, Gareth! <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so... Uh, no, your deck's insane. Your deck is unbelievable. Yeah, a couple uh, of things... Th this deck. <laughs> a couple of things... Go ahead. Go so, ahead. Yangzing Metal Foe was around this entire time, right? Pretty much yep. from the release yep. of the Metal Foes, as soon as Danglong comes out, this is immediately available. G Tao is obviously incredible. Uh, and you look at a deck like this, and you look at how uh, consistent and coherent it is, both on the play and the draw. Going first, you set up this unbreakable board. Going second, you just backseat them for their life savings, kind of like Sword Soul does. Um, very yeah. competent going first and second deck. And yet, it does not show up particularly often um, in the general course of history. Now, why is this? Well, um, when you think to the other top decks, it kind of all becomes clear, right? If you're making ABC, frequently you're ending on ABC past turn one. And if you'll notice, a significant amount of my hands had a very specific choke point where I normal summon a random Yangzing and pop it with a Metal Foe. If you chain the Banish effect, I lose the game on the spot. Unlike Metal Foe, this doesn't have the capacity to really play out of the extra deck because it's playing a minimal amount of Pendulum Monsters. The Metal Foes are just here for their pop effect. Uh, I think two of each name and then two Zephyr Nui is the extent of it, uh, which means that it doesn't have the ability to keep up with decks that can break a very powerful board and then uh, continue to uh, win a grind game like Paleozoic. And uh, it competes for metagame space with the other build-a-board decks in the format. You've got Mermail, which can build a very competent uh, deck going first and a much better uh, setup going second. You've got Toad Hero, which puts up a board with differing types of interaction turn one and unfortunately it loses to those as well toad hero you know it's got to send cards to the graveyard and has a little bit of trouble doing so uh mermail um it doesn't put up as much of a defense as you would like and chewing through the yang zings means that you are losing your combo pieces uh, add to that the fact that this deck has an unbelievable capacity to brick did not happen to me which was great, uh, but you're playing a lot of cards that do pretty much nothing. Uh, you can open hands that don't have a metal foe. You can open hands that have like double Yangzing path and nothing else. Uh, if you don't have access to a Yangzing, despite playing an insane amount of them, uh, you just lose on the spot. So a uh, really cool, powerful, competent combo deck that basically spins its wheels forevers. Uh, just kind of ends up in tier three because of a bad matchup spread and the occasional propensity to brick. Yeah, like you'll see a deck like this, you know, on the YGO Pro Replay channels, yeah. right? Where oh, they yeah. never brick and everything just goes off and it seems like the craziest deck ever. This but was I, like I one I of the YGO Pro Replay guys' yes. decks of all time. It really is. Right. Just because of how insane it was. Uh, speaking of how insane my deck wasn't, uh, this deck is awful. I don't know. In rogue instances, like, there are, like, some interesting things to talk about here, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's, like, your typical stun engine that has, like, Necro Valley because, like, a bunch of the decks are graveyard-reliant, like ABC and Paleo and all this nonsense. And uh, even Burning Abyss, which there's a surprisingly high amount of during this time. I think we'll cover that maybe next episode. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you're just playing a bunch of other random jank, like, lose one turn because because all of these normal summon, uh, they all just chain together, which I didn't really get to do more than once. Uh, and by doing so, you're able to just really just put on the floodgates and just hope it's enough to carry you to victory. And against some decks, it might be good enough, but typically in high competitive play environments, you'll see these decks start to crumble because you'll start to see the weaknesses of, oh, I'm not going to draw the God Hand every single time I play this deck. And unless you have essentially one or two commas and all just floodgates to stop your opponent from playing, and presumably they don't have enough gas to be able to play through what you have, then you're just not going to be able to keep up with them because then at that point you have them on a really small clock because you're only able to deal out so much damage per turn. And then that's just going to be the end of you, which is why typically this deck would probably fall off before it even got to day two or at the very least before top 32 cuts in YCS contention, which is why it really never saw any success like at that level for the most part, right? There yeah. are a few like fringe cases. And for what it's worth, this is a deck that was, I love decks like this. I fall for them all the time. It was all theory, right? Like 
theoretically, this deck has a really good matchup spread because uh, you're always kind of winning the die roll. Um, it has the ability to set five pass. Uh, it's got Kaiju's main deck, which squares off really well against decks like ABC. In practice, not so much. Back row doesn't do as much as you need it to. Uh, you know, like on paper, this looks like one of Yosenju's best matchups, right? You have the Solemn Warning for the Pendulum Summon. Uh, you have the capacity to use Spot Removal to blank an opponent's turn. But in practice, it bricks the exact same way so many uh, like Fire Fist style decks do, which is you have to see exactly two monsters and exactly three yep. traps and every single trap has to trade for more than one card that just isn't consistent it just isn't always going to happen and when it doesn't you are out of luck you do have hyrule floodgates like macro cosmos you do have hyrule monster opens like comma one comma three in practice those don't happen frequently enough uh to propel you through a nine round tournament did see a ton of success at the local the regional even at the ycs level it's a smattering uh, but did not convert nearly to the extent that something like Paleozoic Frog, Metal Foes, or ABC would. If anything, it's easy to play. That's true! <laughs> So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout outs to Shout1317, tim 0 x 3 MBT Play Medolce, Moto Cameron Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Phoenix the Immortal, Dan the Man Hoban, Richard Enormous, Draconic, Jordan Coons, Jesse Wood, Valen Jackson, Chris Hood, Little Fade Leaf, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Inuna Taisho, Thanks for the Sleeves Dad, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Dalton, Lubon, Yodabon. I've tried reading cards before. It was horrible. Horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy. Helios 515, CMOS Chaos Cooking Draft, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Player Soon, Shrugzix, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, Corvain, and Grey9. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.